Hello students how are you i hope you all are fine so students i am your sst teacher ms dipali sharma so students before i start the today's topic i want to share one word of the day and one sentence of the day with you all our today's word is snatch which means grasp or catch snatch means the action of trying to take something very quickly and forcefully now next sentence of the day now next sentence of the day education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world so the meaning of this sentence is education is power and no one can deny this fact education has the power to change your entire life it creates knowledge it builds confidence it is the key to eliminate all problems if you want to grow and successful then you need to be educated now let's start with our today's session a very good morning to all the students so students how are you all i hope you all are fine so students before i start with our today's session i just want to give you some tips but before that i hope you all have opened your sst books and notebooks with yourself now students just listen the tips very carefully so students you have to attend your online classes on a regular basis whether they are online videos online teaching videos or a doubt session so students you have to attend on a regular basis students if you have any query regarding your subject or topic you can ask in a doubt session students you have to stay motivated towards your studies you have to revise the chapters on a regular basis you have to complete your homework on a regular basis so students before i start with the today's topic i just want to recapitulate that topic now students take out chapter number 3 the northern plains page number 18 the nadan plains so students yesterday i have explained you about the himalayan rivers and the satluj river basin i have explained you that the nadan plains are having three important rivers that are satluj brahmaputra and ganga so these are the three important rivers of northern plains then i have explained you that these three rivers are divided into three river basins the three river basins of india are satluj river basin ganga river basin and third brahmaputra river 
basin so students yesterday i have explained you about the satluj river basin that it flows in the south west direction punjab and haryana lie on the satluj river basin and the bhagra dam has also been built on the satluj river basin now students today we will discuss about the ganga river basin right now just take out page number 19 ganga river basin now just look at the board our today's topic is ganga river basin right now let's read the topic first para the ganga river originates as bhagirathi from the gangotri glacier in the himalayan mountains it flows at a high speed from the mountain slopes on its way down it is joined by the river mandakini and alaknanda these three rivers combine to form the ganga and then the ganga enters the northern plains near rishikesh so students the ganga river basin so students the ganga river originates from the gangotri glacier right the ganga river originates from the gangotri glacier then it joins two rivers first mandakini and then alaknanda right the ganga river originates from the gangotri glacier and then it joins two rivers that are mandakini and alaknanda now let's move forward these three rivers combine to form the ganga and then these three rivers form to combine the ganga and then ganga enters the northern plains near rishikesh the yamuna river which is the main tributary of the ganga also starts from the himalayas the yamuna joins ganga near allahabad and this place is called sangam there is another tributary son that joins the ganga near patna now so let's just look at the board now next the yamuna river which also originates from the himalayas then it joins ganga near alabad yamuna river joins ganga river near alabad and this place is called sangam right the yamuna river joins ganga river near alabad and this place is called sangam now next there is another tributary son that joins ganga river near patna now so that there is one tributary son okay it also meets ganga river near patna now students take out page number 20 now there are a number of rivers which flow from the himalayas and then they join the main stream of the ganga 
These include the Ghagra, Gomti, Ganda and Kosi. So students, there are various rivers that join the Ganga mainstream. Which are these rivers? It includes Look at the board. It includes Ghagra, Gomti, Kosi and Ganda. So these are the four rivers which joins the main stream of Ganga. Now students, you can see the images. This is the image of Ghagra River. Next. This is the image of Gomti River. This is the image of Gandak River. Next. And this is the image of Kosi River. Now students, you have seen the images. Now let's move forward with the second paragraph. The Ganga flows through the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. After reaching West Bengal, it is diverted towards south and then splits it into several branches. Many of them join the Brahmaputra river after passing through Bangladesh our neighboring country. Now students just look at the board that the Ganga river flows through the states of the Ganga river flows through the states of Uttarakhand Uttar Pradesh Then Bihar and then West Bengal. So students, the Ganga river flows through the states of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. So students, when the Ganga river reaches West Bengal, then it is diverted towards south. Then it is diverted towards south. Right? Now let's move forward. So when the West Bengal, at the West Bengal, when the Ganga river uh, reaches here, then it diverted towards the south direction, then it splits into several branches. Now let's move forward. In West Bengal, the Ganga flows slowly. It splits it into two branches, the Hukli and Padma. Now just look at the board. So students, when the Ganga river reaches West Bengal, as I have told you, that it is diverted towards the south, and then split it into several branches. So the Ganga, uh, the Ganga river split it into the two branches in West Bengal that are Hugli and Padma. Now let's move forward. The Hugli is the main branch of the Ganga in India. It flows through West Bengal. Kolkata, the capital of West Bengal, is also situated on the banks of the Hooghly. So, Hooghly is the main branch of the Ganga 
river hogli is the main branch of the ganga river and kolkata the capital of west bengal also situated on the banks of hogli so the capital of west bengal is kolkata so it is also situated on the banks of the hogli now next the branch of the ganga in bangladesh is called padma and the branch of the ganga in bangladesh is called padma now students you can see the images of these banks so students before i will show you the images of hogli and padma just see this slide in west bengal the ganga flows slowly and splits into two branches the hogli and padma the hogli is the main branch of the ganga in india the branch of the ganga in bangladesh is called padma now i will show you the images of the hogli and padma now this is the image of hogli river in kolkata next this is the image of padma river so students now you have seen the images now your homework is you have to read page number 19 and 20 till ganga river basin and whenever i will give you the written homework you will send your homework on the given email id that is vbbmv online classes at the rate gmail.com thank you students and have a nice day